Hey there guys, we are back with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1, The Wheel to Power. In our last episode, we saw how much of a monster that Virgil was using the Realians to save his own life. And unfortunately that didn't go well, and she nearly got killed too in the process. But fortunately for us, Cosmos came and rescued us from being killed. Yay. And now you can notice that on the screen I did I didn't do that much training, just did like one one level really. Um, I did do what I said I was gonna do. I had Cosmos learn her Arcana. I set to high, as you can well, no, 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 set to high as you can see. Our blade. I was gonna do that, but I wasn't paying attention. I actually increased the power of our Arcana. And I didn't mean to. I wanted to raise up our blade too. But you know what? We're gonna be using can Arcana a lot too. Anyway, and also you will notice that Cosmos isn't wearing most of her tech attacks at this point because Shion at this point she has up to three. But Cosmos has up to two. Well, she will gain tech attacks, but it's not going to be in the same manner that Shion gains them and the other party members. I think Cosmos is the only character that um, learns tech attacks a little differently from everyone else. Everyone else learns their third levels. Um. Oh, and actually, now I think there's one more tech, one more member that we there's one member that we get later that learns a tech attack in a different way. But we'll get to that later. And I gotta sneeze. I hope I don't sneeze. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, and ether wise, he learned medical hall. This is really, really helpful because not only that it it cures everybody, it is a lot stronger than the media. Sorry, media. Medica. I'm thinking I'll tell you Charlie now. Yeah, I'll do an episode that if I can. I can. Actually, I'm trying to get to a point in this game before I stop. I stop now. I'm trying to finish Charlie. Or Shally, as they say in the US version. I'm so used to saying it in the Japanese version. Okay. Now we are going to be going to, to the hangar. To the hangar. And finish this once and for all. Now, I, all I did was just go around the ship and and fight enemies. Well, hit reason why I got the levels. And I pretty much just I got a decoder. And I got the decoder here for the segment door. And um, it was. I'm saying, um, aren't I? <laughs> And I got the coat lightning. Actually, I think that's the snow flies lightning. Shion can obviously, can obviously extract it if she has enough. No, level three. Yeah, this is something I forgot to tell you too. But depending on um, how many times you you extract an item, and you can't do it repeatedly, got to be a different type of type of item. That um, you can't you can't extract unless you reach a certain level. After you extract a certain amount of times, you gain another level. So yeah. So we can't get coat lightning, unfortunately. And for those who are wondering, what does Virgil still do himself on the screen? Yes, he does. Okay. Because one of my friends actually asked me, how does Virgil look like on the screen? And Coastal actually has two weapons, but it's best to have on the F shot. Hmm. Actually, let me try something. Let's unquip this. Can we extract? Can we extract that? For Shion, of course. But, no, really. We can a cobalt ring for evasion two, and blue ring for dexterity two. All right, Cosmos. I think yeah, she can do anything too. Oh, you're already gonna extract that. That's right. That's right. Oh, um, evade plus two. That seems very really, uh, a little bit helpful. Let's set it up. Oops. And get a release it. There we go. Alright. So, Cosmos doesn't really need that, honestly. Actually, I might leave that off of her. Um, it doesn't increase, does it? No, it's accessory. I don't think accessories increase her stats. I don't think. Oh, it does. You can... Oh, so it stacks. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Nah, we might not want to do that now. No, no, no. If if I if the part I'm thinking is gonna come up soon, yeah, we're gonna have to take it off. And yeah, Cosmos is pretty strong as it is, so we don't go about that. Alright. Now <laughs> you know what I actually ended the episode kinda of prematurely. And let's show these off right now. So I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, because honestly I should have put this part along with the other part. We have the gremlins. These enemies are very, very, very annoying. However, Shion can deal with them no problem. 
Of course, once this level, that was you guys' powerful Sheon yet. Virgil, he's gonna, he's just gonna screw things up. Thank you, Sheon. Good, good, good. Got three revives. Sweet. Alright, so let's get out of here. If you remember, the hangar was over young daughter. Oh, uh, he doesn't want the cosmos. Ah ha ha. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Yeah, these names are pretty tough. I use a shock blade. Do it! Cool. <laughs> Not Cosmos. Shion is actually pretty good when it comes to ether attacks. She can be a physical type of character, but mainly you want her to be physical. Or, oh, sorry, ether. Arcanet. There we go. Simple. The enemies have been exterminated. And I wasn't paying attention too. I could have did, did a boost and did all that without having to worry about them getting yeah, turn off. Ooh, what's up? Um, anything over here? <coughs> ah, just the enemy. Of course, of course. Do you really think this is a good idea? No, it's not. You know, it's not a good idea. That's why we're gonna kill you! Power kick, that's what it's called, power kick. <clears throat> oh, be quiet. Thank you, Kamagan. Alright. More escape packs. And uh, another escape pack. Should I? Nah. Don't worry about it. Detonate it! Wham! Burn! Burn! Alright. Oh, you're in a way. I don't have to fight Gundam. Uh... You know, I was trying to save your life, you know that? Hilbert effect active. No system materialization complete. Yeah, we can do this. Just arcane it for overkill. Look at that damage. Oh yeah. That was critical too. I mean, you can use Virgil if you want to. I recommend not using Virgil. He's not really that helpful. If anything, he's the weakest. Now that po now that camera angle, I love that camera angle. It shows all three of your people fighting. Oh, and, and if you're wondering if Virgil does finish off the enemy, he does have a special battle quote. It'll just be one of the two girls saying something, and the camera will pan out, showing all three of them. And hey, there's Trinkov. Will my death be for nothing? Oh, you're looking at Alan. He's earning some man points. He's not so much of a pansy anymore. Not so much he's doing for a Sheon, too. Like the woman he loves. What the? What are you people doing here? Funny story. Oh, Hilbert effect is now active. They were now vulnerable. Nope, not Gnosis. Even worse. Anti Gnosis Android. So, it's functional. Indeed, it is. Our Cosmos. Let's see what you got. You want some of this? Ah! Then come and get it, you bastard! <laughs> Oh, 
And look at Shion, she's gonna be going in too. Not bad. That would be more effective to use her MWS, not a rifle. Shion. But damn, they're coming in swarms. Oh crap. Shion used the MWS. That rifle isn't gonna do jack squat against them. Oh, what's this? First is gonna help. I gotta admit, how like you can't handle a gun and no version might wanna This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. I'm um, Cosmos. Did Wait. you just Cosmos? Cosmos, do do you understand what you've just done? Yeah, exactly. My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. Well, that's, that's cold. No excuse. Yeah, exactly. You have no right to go about killing people. Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Shion. Unfortunately, she doesn't. You forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. I don't believe her. I think she has a heart. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod? Or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Damn it. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Yeah, you're right, Alan. Yeah, I'll, I'll be scared too, <laughs> considering what I just saw. I mean, what she did was unforgivable, but she is a weapon, so she doesn't really have a conscience. So I believe that she does, and what's going on? Oh, come on. I'm a, we're about to get out of here. We need to face a boss now. Great. Alright, let's do it. Now, even though Alan did show his manhood, he will not be participating in this boss battle. Yay, we have the Minotaur. Uh, and now you notice that he's airborne, so obviously you cannot use your physical attacks. This is why I said try to get your R cannon for Cosmos to high, so you'll be able to do some good damage against him. And this is the reason why I've been amping up Spell Ray, too. So, this boss shouldn't be that bad. And I forgot he, I just realized he had minions, too. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we should be fine, so... Look at that! <laughs> Gravity pulse, we'll take care of you by then. Uh huh. Ouch. Dirt hurts. Hmm. Man, screw it. Just finish him. Charging. 
I don't care. Go! Now, is it automatic over or do you have to take out his minions? My oh, cool. Alright. Yeah, it would have been more experience. But again, I wasn't really paying attention to his minions. So it was all good. Not bad. And we get a skill upgrade Z, and that is an item to upgrade your. That, that's an item to pretty much give you more points associated to that. That, um. Associated to the skill the points you're gonna be putting to. Because there are multiple ones like tech upgrade, either upgrade, and the skill upgrade that you saw. Not to make the that, that balls off now, I'll probably be less time, I guess. So, it, it doesn't matter. Cosmos, she may be heartless, but she does know how to deal with Gnosis. Logic over reasoning, if you would. And there goes the ship of the Noble Game Day. Like I said, I'm going to probably start doing, stop doing parts of episode 1 after I get to a certain part. And that probably won't be till Ooh, get another two or three hours into of gameplay, rather. Well, I'll pretty much tell you when I'll, I'll probably stop doing episodes of, oh, episode one. Then try to focus on Shali, because we're at the end, we're at, we are at the end of Tell Your Shali. So, well, near the end, since the game has a total of, I believe, nine chapters, and we're on chapter five. Upper material. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Makes sense because it didn't have that jewel in the middle. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. Well, that's good and all, but what about us? And apparently there's another ship out there. And yes, you're wondering what she's standing, what she and Trinko are standing on is the life bar that she and Alan are in. Alright guys, and well, that's the end of the first chapter. So I'll end this part here because this is a good part, but good, good as uh, time as any. To end it here, but next time let's play Zeno Saga Episode 1 The Wheel to Power. And it's going to be raining soon, as you guys can hear that it's thundering outside. <laughs> We're going to be starting the second chapter. So, today, guys, see you guys next time.